It's been an extremely traumatizing Shabbat for the entire community and I'm sure for people from all over who have been following what just happened here. Uh, Nevetsov is a wonderful, peaceful community. We have known difficult times, intifadas, people who were killed, murdered on the roads, but never such an attack of terrorists entering a house and butchering a family. So obviously the feelings are very, very hard and I'm sure that by the time of the funeral, maybe it will sink in, you know, their, their loss. And it was your brother who neutralized the terrorist. Uh, you spoke to him, of course, since. Yes, uh, my brother and father heard the screaming. Uh, they live in the house across and they ran quickly. Once they understood this is a, a, a terrorist attack, they ran back and bought their guns. My father, my, my brother is in the army and he was uh, uh, in the weekend over here and he's well trained. Uh, and quickly they both ran without thinking. The immediate thought was to stop what's happening in the house, to stop the terrorist. He shot one bullet and managed to neutralize the terrorist. Uh, it's, it's a very hard uh, uh, feeling to be part of such an experience. The, the, the vision of what was going on in the house afterwards, the victims, I don't want to go too graphically. It's all one very big, difficult, uh, uh, traumatizing event. But he knows that he did the right thing and, uh, and he saved uh, Michal, the, the daughter-in-law and the five children who survived this attack. What's the next stage? First of all, in terms of the children, what do you explain to children when they, they have fears who can come into our house now, who can be in the next house near, near, nearby? Um, on Shabbat already we had uh, various meetings, one of the mothers to help them know, understand or think together what to explain to the children and also different uh, talks with the youth of the different levels. Uh, my eldest son is three, I didn't think I needed to tell him anything, I was hoping uh, to keep him away from this. But when we were playing in the playground he said he was uh, driving in the car and going to get the policemen and the dogs. You know, there were um, different types of forces here. So I understood the things that we are saying, he's understanding. So I gave him a very basic explanation, you know, the good guys versus the bad guys. The many, many soldiers who have been here for the last two days, together with my brother, his uncle, who's a brave soldier. And we are trying uh, to continue to be the good guys and, and beat the bad guys. Now, in terms of the community and the, the settlement enterprise, I, I believe and I understand that one of the ideas, of course, is as response is to continue to build, continue to expand. This uh, community has been uh, going on strong for 40 years. There are many people like myself, second generation, third generation, who love this place. People coming from all over wanting to build a house over here. Uh, and we're waiting because this community is, new neighborhoods are not being authorized. Um, this community deserves to build. It's a natural growth that every place deserves to have. And even more so with this tragic, awful event, we, are, we will focus on rising out of this tragedy and building our community, building new neighborhoods, commemorating our neighbors who were lost in this tragic uh, attack. And on the security level, what are your demands from the authorities? So it's all one, it's all the same thing because our community is supposed to uh, extend and build a new neighborhood according to the building plans. Um, east to, from this direction and one of the problems is a road uh, which has been used by terrorists in several occasions who have tried to hurt this community. The terrorists from Friday night came from that road. Uh, the arson that was here eight months ago, Molotov cocktail bottles that were thrown over there. Our demand is to close that road and to authorize our building to help us rebuild, build houses and to uh, bring back our feeling of security like anywhere else in Israel.